today we are going to prove tan a plus secant a minus 1 by tan a minus secant a plus 1 is equal to 1 plus sin a by cos a. That is also equal to secant a plus tan a. See here, as the question is in simplified form, you know the denominator cos a. No need to go for further simplification. Directly, it has been converted. Actually, the answer is this. Secant a plus tan a. But we will give like this. Both are same. Identify this one. If you write secant a as 1 by cos a and tan a as sin a by cos a, you will get the same answer. If the question is given like this and answer is given like this, you need to convert like this and go for the simplification. And here we don't want any transformation to sin a and cos a because this and this are same. Then we will simplify the problem. Now come to the point, the general thing is, you are having one formula. 1 is equal to secant a square a minus tan square a. Now in the numerator, you need to replace 1 by secant square a minus tan square a. Therefore, tan a plus secant a minus Open the bracket, secant square a minus tan square a, close the bracket, by tan a minus secant a plus 1. Now, in the bracket ones, it is in the form of a square minus b square. That is equal to a minus b into a plus b. That is tan a plus secant a minus in the bracket write down secant a minus tan a is multiplied by secant a plus tan a. The total need to be close the bracket and write down tan a minus secant a plus 1. Now to understanding purpose, I will write the multiplicative identity element 1. Now see here, tan a plus secant a, secant a plus tan a, both are same times by committed to property under addition. Tan a plus secant a is also equals to secant a plus tan a. We need to consider that. Therefore, I will take secant a plus tan a as a common then what is the coefficient of secant a plus tan a 1 minus what is the coefficient of secant a plus tan a here secant a minus tan a by write down this one what is the denominator here secant a tan a minus secant a plus 1 now write down this, keep it in bracket, secant a plus tan a is multiplied by 1, do sign multiplication, minus into plus, that is equal to minus, minus into minus, that is equal to plus, close the bracket, by tan a minus secant a plus 1. In the bracket ones, you need to rearrange the terms. Therefore, secant a plus tan a is multiplied by the first one is plus, that is plus tan a minus secant a plus 1 whole divided by whole divided by tan a minus secant a plus 1. Keep it in bracket for understanding purpose. These two will be cancelled. Therefore, you are left with secant a plus tan a. That is the answer. Now, write down the reciprocal of secant a. That is equal to 1 by cos a. Write down the trigonometric ratio of tan a. That is equal to sin a by cos a. The 
where denominators of the functions are same, then they are said to be as a like fractions, that is cos a. What is the numerator of the first fraction? 1. What is the numerator of the second fraction? Sin a. Hence, tan a plus secant a minus 1 by tan a minus secant a plus 1 is equals to 1 plus sin a upon cos a. That is also equals to secant a plus tan a. That's completes the problem.